How's it going? Alright, today we are going to be looking at the Entryway Mudroom Gun Concealment Bench made by American Furniture Classics. And here it is. Now, overall, I am very satisfied with this bench. I've got a couple stickers I gotta still get off here, but no biggie. As I said, overall, very happy. Nice, rich wooden finish. Both sides. Got a nice solid look to it. Good wood. I'm not really sure if there's a specific make, but it's very nice and sturdy. Um, the bench itself, you know, when I completed it, I got up and stood on it and actually uh, jumped up and down a little bit on it and it didn't go anywhere, so I was really happy about that. So, again, satisfied. See if you can actually sit down. Real nice and solid. Backing, everything's really, really on there very well. Nice solid sides. Really heavy too. Um, the box is uh, going to give you a little bit of a backache if you if you haven't been doing your push-ups. So, so let's get inside. <clears throat> Here we have the bench portion that lifts up, and this is kind of assisted by the hinges on the end. It's stayed up from those, so it kind of, kind of holds it down, and then when you get past the one area, it kind of pushes it up. So that'll stay up on you. And then below that, we have the hidden compartment where the weapons go. And me, myself, I, uh, prefer the concealment idea over the gun safe idea um, just because you know someone breaks in they're not gonna know what to take nobody's gonna really think to steal this bench but if they see a gun safe sitting there they may see an opportunity to yank that thing out and take it preferably both would be the best you know eventually get a concealed room with a safe in it would be the best. But for this, this works out for me right now. And um, putting the, it's got a little gap in there where you can put stuff, so. You can put a blanket here to kind of cover the, to cover the hole where the key would go. So if you load this up with blankets or t-shirts or something like that, you can, get, you can play it off really well. Okay, so now we're going to get into it. Here's your key. Nothing crazy, just a regular key. I mean, the lock itself isn't that sophisticated. But if you were handy at all, I think you could add an additional lock if you wanted to put a padlock between here and here or back here. But all up to the person again. So getting into it, um, there's... Personally, I throw the handle inside, so I have to reach in here and actually pull it up. Might need a little bit more. Okay. And then there's actually this handle here. You can actually set it to where the handle comes out, so then you unlock it and just pull it up. So, from here, put the handle on this hook, and then that holds it up, and then you're good to go, and then you're inside your actual box. And again, I bought this for $280 on overstock.com, um, I had free shipping at the time, but I've also seen it advertised as much as $315, $320. So, see if you can find one on sale. Now, the bench itself has room for five guns. Um, 
Also has a nice little, little tray here. Let me see if I can get this in focus. And I put some of this stuff in here. I usually don't keep it in here, but just for um, so you can compare the size. This is a box of nine millimeter and you know twenty five. Shotgun shell, so it holds quite a bit in this little shelf area here, and this is removable. So you just pull this out. You can take this out. So holding a pistol in here, if you decided to, shouldn't be an issue. I usually don't hold my my um, revolver in here, but I can't think of anything really bigger than this unless you have a Smith and Wesson 500 or something. But um. But it, it holds a pretty good deal. You could probably get three or four pistols in there if you if you had different sizes and um, took some time to wiggle them in there. And then this. And again, the safe is set up for five rifles, shotguns, or five long guns, really. <clears throat> so here we have the different slots, and these are actually felted so they're padded a little bit everything in here is wood um, so for the butt stocks the wood and just to give you a judge on the size of this thing um, I, f I really came close to wondering if this was going to hold one of my shotguns because it's about the biggest one I've ever seen so this is a full-size Smith, Smith & Wesson, but a Mossberg um, 500, and I have a custom buttstock on it. I'll take this out for you. It's got a butt plate on it. Overall, it's very long. Um, I'm sure there's longer but this is about as full size as you can get and I think when I measured it I had a half an inch uh, playroom between the actual sizes of the sides of the bench and the shotgun so I was a little bit nervous about actually getting it to fit in there but it actually did so nose down first Nose down, back, and it just slides right in. And it holds in there very well. Everything holds in there very well. Um, definitely will hold your 18 inch, your 18 inch barrels and all that. I assume it will hold an AR-15, a you know, Springfield M1A. Um, the only thing that might get in the way are some of your optics but again I don't think that'll be an issue either because like on this shotgun here it does not rest fully into into the sleeve so this would go down some and I think it would angle right I think you would have enough clearance because you have up to this section right here so even between here and here if your scope didn't come up more than probably three inches, you'd be okay. And then, depending on how many you have, you can put other things in here, such as, you know, you can store ammo in here in between. Under which shotgun you have, or something like that. Um, I mean, really, there's even enough clearance down here, under it. So depending on you know, what your kids are doing, if they're always going through your stuff, um, you know, the wife doesn't want to have the stuff laying out, you can opt to get one of these. And then fit all your stuff in here. So there's enough room. I also think it's a pretty good idea in the event that you need to exfil a location quickly you can real quick pile a whole bunch of shit in here get somebody on this get somebody on this lift it up and take it out of the truck and then you got your your arsenal with you um 
this is a Springfield XD case. One of the biggest ones I typically see for handgun 